you know, while I'm between coats of paint, I thought I'd share something with you. If you have any friends or any people who are fantasizing about working for themselves, I've been doing this for like over two decades. And I've got my stuff pretty dialed in. But you know what time it is? 10.30 at night. I already worked a full day. I started at seven o'clock this morning. Knocked off about four or five o'clock. Kind of chilled out, did a little yard work, you know, kind of did my life. Went back in the house. I was laying there in bed and I just couldn't sleep. What am I doing? I'm back in the shop. I'm back in the shop working at 10.30 at night to get something done that needs done because tomorrow it has to be done by my own, you know, self-imposed urgency. You know, I could call the customer and say, hey, it'll be a week and that'd be fine, but I want it gone. So, 10.30 at night, I'm working out in my shop. So if you know people who are talking about working for themselves and they think, I wanna work for myself because I'm gonna get up at nine in the morning, I'm gonna take long lunches, I'm gonna knock off at four o'clock so I can go to the park with my family and my kids, and I'm not gonna stress out anymore because I work for myself. You're smoking crack, dude. Listen, when you start working for yourself, you're gonna put in so much time getting all the bugs worked out of your business, you ain't even gonna see your family for a little while. Once you get it dialed in, then you have the choice to throttle back, let the business take on its own momentum, that kind of thing. But still, nonetheless, uh, there's gonna be the time when even after 10 or 15 or 20 years, you're gonna be in the shop or whatever you do at 10 o'clock at night, taking care of something that you know need done. You know it needs done and you're gonna make yourself do it because you have the self-discipline to make yourself do what you know needs done. Which is why most people can never work for themselves in the first place because they don't have that. So if you don't have the self-discipline to make yourself go above and go beyond and do the stuff that most people are not willing to do to get over the hump and make your business work, don't even try. Go to the city, work for, drive a bus, go get a job that'll tell you what to do. Cause you have to have enough self-discipline to tell yourself what to do if you're gonna make it in the real world on your own. So while I'm out here, just uh, sipping on a little Southern Comfort cause I can't sleep and finishing up a little side job. I'll be out here for maybe another 45 minutes and then I'll go and catch some Z's. But uh, that's how it goes when you work for yourself.